This is Bakery Simulator, a fun little game where we have to bake bread and then sell it to customers. Now, the developer of this game gave me a key to review, so thank you much to them. You can check out the game in the description below. It's on Steam, it's recently been released, and they are updating it all the time. So yeah, now this is our bakery. This is the level 2 bakery. I upgraded it recently. Um, when you earn money, you can put it back into the business by upgrading your equipment. So for instance, I upgraded to an auto refill, um, like industrial containers for our flour. And then you can also upgrade to Wi-Fi. So you only purchase automatically the amount of ingredients you need for the, uh, for the current recipe. So that means you save a bit of money. Now over here is the order board. Let's see what people want today. So, folksy loaf or 42 surprise muffins. Let's do that because what I want to do is like a industrial sized order and this is definitely one of them. Here we go. Everyone loves surprises, whether it's a party, a present or food. With this in mind, we've made this extraordinary recipe. We just want to make our clients around the world happy. What makes a little formula so unique is a mix of raisins with basic uh, baking ingredients like wheat, flour, milk, eggs and sugar. Okay, that was a bit of a mouthful. Um, let's go and get the big mixing bowl and then fill it up with what we need. So, over here, we've got uh, wheat flour. Can we not... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What does this thing even do? Huh? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Can we put it under there? Whoa! Whoa! I saw the... I saw the there you go, right. Wheat flour. Um... 250 grams was that? I think. Is that how much we want? No? Ah, here it is. Right. Wheat flour. Uh, we want one in grams. That's one zero zero five. A thousand and five grams, I think. No. One zero zero five. Go. On. Is that correct? No, we need a bit more. It doesn't matter, we can just go over here and add a bit. <gasps> Wrong time of flour, right. There we go, perfect amount. Right, sugar. Add sugar to the bowl. White sugar, of course. There we go. And then the last bit in there. Milk. So we just need some milk. 220. Olive oil. 210. Eggs, 210 milliliters of eggs. Right, 60. Okay. Oh, crack them into the bowl. Like that. One more. And then a small one. Perfect. Right, yeast. Yeast is important. 50, 20, 5, 5. Four. And then raisins. I don't like raisins. I don't know about you. Um, here they are. Right. 210 grams of raisins. There we go. Now, you can also put little spices into here. So what would go well with raisins? Um, what would go well with raisins? Caramel and raisin? Cinnamon and raisin? What do you think? Vanilla raisin? Ginger raisin. That sounds good. Ginger and raisin. Okay. Okie dokie. So now we head over to the big mixing machine and turn it on. Like so. There we go. Now this is have a turbo mode. Um, how long does it need to... Oh, you can actually set a timer. Uh, how long does it need to... Oh, 30 seconds. Put 20 on them. There we go. It's mixing it up. Perfect. Now where is the turbo button? Because that's why I, I do own a turbo button. If I hold that, ah, turbo mode. I don't want to go over the red, but it just speeds it up a little bit. There we go. Done. Take the bowl, and now we need to dump it out and form it. Um, actually, no, we don't, because it's because these are muffins. We need to get the muffin tray. Right. So there's a muffin tray over here. Which we can put on, um, I guess this table's fine. We need 42 of these, my goodness. That's crazy. Okay, fill them up. So 
So we've got 18 little um, muffin... Um, oh, what are they called? What are they called? You know what I mean. It's called a muffin form, but I think they're called muffin... Uh, holders of muffin? I don't know. I'm not a baker, as you can tell. Muffin cups. That's it. That, that will do. Okay. So fill them. There we go. 6, 12, 18. Uh, we haven't filled them up. 24. 30. 36. We need one more tray. 42. So here we go. Ah! Fill these first. There we go. Did I fill these at all? I don't think I did. There you go. Just a couple more. And then we can put them in the oven. Boom. So we are having caramel muffins. Oh yes. Right. So where are the baking trays? Down here. Okay. Get them on the tray. And then put them in the oven. Like so. One more tray. One. Two. Three. Can we put the other one on? No, we can't. We need one more. We need mo one more tray. Into the oven. One more. So let's get a tray. There it is. And get this thing on. So, 30 to 50 seconds at 180. So, 180, let's do 35 seconds. There we go. Boom. So, yeah, we can customize the room if we go to here. And we do customization. You can see we can, as you unlock things, you can customize the room. Um, we can change the walls. I don't really like the walls and the floors. I hope we can unlock a new wall soon. Um, out there is the world. Now, there actually is actually an in-game world, but there is a kind of a caveat to that. So you can see there's a, there's a map here. You can see where we are on the map and our destination. But um, they do have a delivery mode, which isn't in the game at the moment. They've removed it because it was a bit buggy and glitchy. And they're going to re-add it soon. But basically, you drive along in a car. The help book will show us the car. There you go, car, and then a truck. And you can deliver up to three orders at a time in the truck. But basically, you literally have to drive them door to door. Um, but they will be adding that again. If you want to see me play more of this, um, I'd be totally up for it. Um, just let me know in the comments down below and like this video because, yeah, I do definitely enjoy it. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not the usual kind of game I play on this channel. I usually play um, vehicle simulators. Although if it, uh, if this game did have the delivery mode still in it, it would technically be a vehicle simulator, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I did try it. You can still try it in the tutorial, um, the driving mode, but it's not. Amazing, it's nothing jaw dropping or groundbreaking. So, yeah, I can see why they've removed it to just improve it. And for some reason, I can't seem to accept more than one job at a time, but it doesn't matter. So, when we go through the door, we just say call for delivery, and then you can tip the driver or not. And there's kind of a risk of them not delivering it properly, so I just have to tip them every time. There we go. And we made quite a lot of money and 359 XP, which levels us up to level 13. And now we can make donuts. So why don't we try and do that? Have we got a donut machine in here? Where will I go and buy it? It's a dough divider. Divides them into portions. That's quite expensive. Um, where would the donut machi machine be? Ah, I think I found it. 800. I've just got enough for the donut machine. Right. I'm very low on money. Wow. Okay. Whoops. Walk, walk right past it. Here we go. Uh, 18 donuts, perfect. Or 18 surprise donuts. Let's do some 18 donuts, yeah? Perfect. Right, I love donuts. I don't know about you. Donuts probably are some of my favourite uh, baked goods. Right. Oh my, what have you been thinking? You can't run a bakery without donuts on the menu. Here, use this recipe and prepare the most traditional yet delicious fried cake. People love those sweet round snacks and always buy more than they need. Don't even think about running your shop without selling donuts. I agree entirely. So let's make some donuts. Okay. Why did I pick that up? I have no idea. Let's get the industrial sized bowl. And some wheat flour on here. Okay, we need 900 grams of wheat flour. There we go. Water. 
Water is 180. Milk is 270. If we go 20, 40, 60, 5, 5. Butter. Where would I keep the hat? Here's the butter. We just need 180 grams of that. It's quite a lot, actually. Eggs, 180 milliliters of eggs. So, three eggs. Crack them in the center. So, we don't mess it up. And then some sugar. Where is the sugar? Uh, yeast. There we go, and there we go, put it in the mixing bowl, um, and then we're going to put 30 to 50 seconds, let's do 35, and get it to mix. There we go, it's mixing it up, all automatic, perfect. So, how do we use the mixing machine, or the, um, sorry, the donut machine? Donut machine, or the dough divider. Uh, put the dough into the machine tank before turning it on. Set the temperature using the knob on the console. Wait until the oil temperature light is turned on. When the light turns green, twist the knob and activate the machine. When donuts are formed and fried on one side, flip them. After frying both sides, place the pastries in a crate next to the machine. Right. Got it. Okay. Okay, this thing looks quite insane. Right. Boost button. Come on, I want my donuts out quickly. Right, there we go. Let's stop it. Uh, thank you. Right, we've got this. Now into the donut machine. Oh, I saw it. There you go. Yeah, they're in the donut machine. Uh, let's put this down somewhere. Where can we put it? Over here. 20 to 35 seconds. Um, can I control anything here? At 200, right? Two hundred. Oh, too much. Uh, uh, did it work? Oh, it didn't work. There you go. On, go. Yeah, look at those. Oh my goodness, they look great. Wow. So I need, I need to try, don't I? Quick. Oh, I'm adding stuff to the top of them. What? Ah! Get them out! Are, are they burnt? They're burnt! They're burnt! No! What does is, what is hitting the top of them do? I have no idea. There you go, they're fully fried now. Right. Right, okay, that's a bit weird. Um, so, what... Wasn't I meant to get a crate or something, or a... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Put them all in here, then. Put them in the crate and see if they'll accept them. So I think I may have burnt those. That may have been my fault. Uh, it's so hard to pick them all up. Huh? Come on. Why can't I pick them all up? Okay, we're going to have to put it in man by hand. There we go. A couple more. They're in. And done. So now put them over the... Um... There you go. And then we can go and sell them. Right. Were they alright? Let's have a look. Delivered. So I see 72% was... That's not great. Is it? But there you go. We did actually upgrade stuff. And uh, we got a better level, which is good. Let's do one more day. And then I will finish this video. Because, yeah, it's a really fun game. Um... Very casual, a folksy loaf, let's do that. It's a very casual sim game. Um, and yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about it and just show you um, all it has to offer. So here we go. What next? Um, I think you can actually upgrade, eventually upgrade the uh, this room again. I don't know where you do it. Where is it? It's not over here, is it? Is it the door? Where did I upgrade it last time? It was here, was it? I don't remember. Anyway, we've got the loaf. A handmade bread eaten during school field trip. What? Okay. Let's get some water. Uh, ah, we can actually get it from here as well. Water. 
uh, water. Put it, put it in there. Do you? Yeah, there you go. So water. Two, two, four, zero. Go. Right. What next? Do we need anything else? Olive oil? No, we don't need anything else. So we can just put it under here. Right. Wheat flour. Do we need any wheat flour? No. Rye flour. We do need wheat flour. Two, two, four, zero. Go. Sourdough starter. Can we add that? No, we can have wheat flour though. One, one, two, zero. Go. Right, sourdough, si sourdough starter. That's too much, is it? There you go, that's a perfect amount. Right, salt. There you go, and sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. Uh, too much, I think. Uh, I want to get it perfect. All green. There we go. Right. Mix for 25 seconds, or 10 to 25, actually. It's not very long. Um, let's do it for 15. Why not? 15 seconds. It's not very long, is it? Could we have added anything to that? We could have made, like, spiced loaf, couldn't we? That would have been cool. But let's leave it like that. I don't want to mess around with the spices anymore. Okay. Here it is. Next up, we need to go to the oven. Um, oh, no, we don't. We need to portion it up, don't we? Yeah. So here we go. We're making a long bread. And then we're just chopping it into sections. Portioning it up. Gives me seven of these loaves. So there we go. And then this is kind of like a mini game where you have to shape them and round them, I guess. Which is a bit odd, but, you know, whatever. We've got to do it several times because, wow, we've got to do it a lot. Three for each of these little mini-games. That's crazy. There we go. Another one. Another one, like that. And another one. And another one. <laughs> oh, goodness me. This is crazy. That one on the end looks quite small. Look at that. See that? Is it meant to be like that? I don't think it is. Come on. Is it like an end cut or something? God, we're very low on money. I've never seen it that low. 600. I usually have like two or three grand in the bank. I spent too much, I think. Right, last one. Is this one going to be the same shape and size? I don't think it is. There we go, done. What? Why are we still doing it? Okay, that's weird. Right, um, put it on a baking tray. We can put five on a tray, that's quite cool. Okay, get another one. There we go. And put it into the oven. So... Bakery Simulator. I've definitely been enjoying it. Thank you so much to the developers for giving me a key. Um, I hadn't actually heard of the game before um, they gave me a key, but yeah, I, I really think this could be as popular as Cooking Simulator because um, it's much easier to handle than Cooking Sim. Although I haven't tried Cooking Sim VR. Um, obviously, it will be compared to Cooking Sim. I don't even know how much bakery there is in that game. I think they have a DLC for like sweet treats, sort of like, you know... Um, almost like a Great British Bake Off cooking game, um, which I'm surprised I haven't done before. But anyway, yeah, I really do enjoy it. If you want to see more, please let me know. Like the video and um, comment down below if you want to see more. Come and check out my Discord server, which is in the uh, description down below. Uh, you can win monthly, well, monthly there's giveaways for Steam Keys. That's a great place to come and check out. Um, and yeah, let's just finish this job off and then call it a day. I have to say, the, the actual bread in this game does look really good. I think they've done a really good job on that. It's very blurry in there. It's kind of odd. Right, here we go. 
Perfect. They're slightly burned. That's kind of annoying. Um, but the look at them, they look good. They look really good. Okay, last three. Did I make too many? What can I do with the rest? Eat them myself. I'll eat those myself. Okay, oops. Drop it on the floor. And finish off the job. How do we do? Call for the delivery. And there we go. 394, 248 XP, but we only got a 76% score, which is kind of annoying. But there you go, Bakery Simulator. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon for some more Simulator adventures. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more. Special thanks to Ultra Sim fans Oh My Mandy and Ray Coxer.